are what over 70 percent of the people of the men of color have been found guilty and then they weren't that don't mean they're guilty just because that he has been found guilty that doesn't mean he's guilty do you accept that he's done anything wrong at all if he's done anything wrong we are all none of us are perfect but as far as the extent of what they're saying holding someone hostage um and these females were treated like queens that I don't believe. That doesn't add up. It doesn't add up. Robert does not have to hold anyone hostage. Women come at him because of his thousands status of who he is. <laughs> you know, you have thousands of women that come at him. Why does he have to hold a few hostage anywhere? Can you really sit here and say that your brother has not been with underage girls? Okay, I can say he may have been with younger women, but as far as underage girls... You know, and I and I stress girls, underage girls. Who has seen that? Well, it was proven in court that he married the singer Aaliyah when she was 15 years old. I don't know that he Can married Aaliyah. That? I don't know that. Yeah. We won't discuss that. I'm not going to discuss that. What about the countless victims who came forward and said, R. Kelly abused me when I was underage, R. Kelly physically abused me, R. Kelly held me against my will, and did repulsive things to me. I believe so. a lot of the alleged victims are bitter. You weren't there in that house. Yeah, but what about the ones that were there? Crimes were being committed. What about the ones that were there? Well, why weren't the witnesses called? The people that said, okay, whenever um, they were asked to, to, to write statements, why weren't they ever called back? What about the people that actually said, no, I've never seen that? A lot of people may say you're delusional. Well, that's them. <laughs> That a lot of yeah. people that are saying I'm delusional, they haven't been where we are. They haven't spoken to him. But can you acknowledge the victims? I'm not going to acknowledge something that I don't have the proof of. If there's a victim, I will acknowledge. But from what I've seen in court and from what I've studied and from what I've read, the only victim I've seen that's been stolen from, lied on, is Robert. No one's talking about the money that was being extorted from Robert. No one's talking about uh, what was stolen from him. No one's talking about the businesses that were in his name. No one's talking about the bank accounts that were in his name. No one's talking about any of the millions of dollars that was ciphered from him. No one's talking about that because he's supposed to be the monster and he's not a monster. He's not a pedophile. He was just taken advantage of. The judge in the New York trial said in court that that case was essentially not about sex, it was about violence, cruelty, and control. And she painted a picture of your brother as someone who was a sex predator. And in so many ways, these other trials coming up will have a similar narrative. We just want to make sure that we support him and give him the strength he needs, the prayers he needs. I'm not so concerned about, um, okay, I'm going to be stressed out about this, I'm going to be stressed out about that. I don't, I don't operate that way. So I, in operating in faith, I just believe that God is going to allow what needs to happen to happen. Why are you concerned about his safety at the prison that he's in in Chicago? The main reason I'm concerned about Chicago is because I don't understand how another inmate was even allowed near a high-profile um, person like Robert. I don't understand. How were you able to get in his cell and start beating him in his head? How were you able to do that? During the conversations you've had with him, has he ever cried or expressed regret or shown any emotions at all? He'll be like, forgive them, forgive them, forgive That's them. That's what he says. Forgive them. And I said, forgive them? After all the lies, after all the things that have been said about you, um, all these after lawsuits, they persecuted everything is about you money, the and the only thing that you can say is forgive is them? forgive them. How can you sit here and say R. Kelly was the victim? A lot of people. Will, I just will, told you. I don't confused. care about what a lot of people. I can only go by what I see, what I know, what I've experienced. That's how I can sit here and say that. Now, Leo said age ain't nothing but a number, but I disagree. <laughs> because if you, you know, two years old, three years old, five years old, seven years old, now age actually matters. If you try to go buy certain products out of a store, they ask for your ID. <laughs> Age actually matters in a lot of different aspects of life. So Aaliyah said, "Age ain't nothing but a number." 
is nothing but a number. Now, I understand the context she was talking about in dealing with a relationship with a man, but no, it actually matters. So listen, the human brain doesn't even develop until you're 25, right? So I believe that everybody should have a standard on dealing with a person, depending on how old they are. I'm just, listen, listen. <laughs> let me just put that out there. So I'm not going to go, y'all, we old enough and mature enough to understand what I am saying. There are certain, listen, there are certain, certain nightclubs you can't even get to. 25 and older, 30 and older, 21 and older. Age actually does matter. Let me just put that out there. Age ain't nothing but a number. Listen, Aaliyah, I understand. You didn't write the song. Who wrote the song? Somebody that did not regard age. Hmm. One plus one equals what? Two. Okay, okay, okay. Now. My mind is telling me no, but my body, my body's telling me yay. Now, don't hold me to being a vocalist. That's not my lane. But I was just giving y'all an audible and a visual. Because in my opinion, in my opinion, if I'm interested in someone and we're on that level, my mind don't tell me no. My mind don't tell me no. So there has to be something going on for your body to be ready, but your mind not ready. Could it be an age difference? Hmm? Could it be a, an extreme age gap? That your body is telling you yes, but your mind is saying no, because you know it ain't right. Hmm. Okay. One plus one equals two. Yeah. I think I figured it out. I think I figured it out. And when I was younger, I used to sing those songs with no problem. No problem. But now that I'm older and I got a little more wisdom, I'm like, hold on. Something ain't right about that. But listen, if you don't want the truth, this is not the platform for you. Tell me what y'all think down in the comments. Break down the lyrics. Put your description down in the comments, please. Like, share, and subscribe. I'm going to see y'all in the next video.